Finally, XRP now ready to unleash 96 million XRP from reserves in 2023 by transferring 240 million XRP tokens from its primary account. Ripple demonstrates that it manages its escrowed XRP reserves in a methodical manner. Following the completion of the transaction, Ripple primary spending wallet contains roughly 96 million XRP, which has a value of around $59 million. The technique that Ripple is implementing is designed to stabilize the XRP market by relocating tokens and minimizing the likelihood of price disruptions. ETF token for Bitcoin raised $4 million by now before it sells out and before the launch of the ETF. Ripple, the business that is responsible for the XRP cryptocurrency, has successfully completed a key transaction that related to its escrowed XR preserves. This action is a part of Ripple continuous plan to manage its considerable XRP holdings, and it has sparked attention and discussions among the cryptocurrency community regarding the potential market consequences of this move. The Ripple company's strategic relocation of XRP. The transfer of 240 million XRP tokens from Ripple's primary account was a recent milestone in the company's methodical approach to the distribution and sale of escrow XR currencies. Through the relocation of tokens from its primary spending wallet, which is referred to as Ripple, this transaction is a component of Ripple larger aim to stabilize the XRP investment market. As a result of this transaction, Ripple's primary spending wallet contains roughly 96 million XRP, which based on the current market price of 0.62 per XRP is estimated to be worth around 59 million. It is anticipated by analysts that a sell-off by Ripple may not materially disturb the existing price dynamics of XRP. This is despite the fact that a big volume of tokens are hitting the market. Due to the fact that Ripple maintains a sizable reserve of 40 billion XRP tokens in escrow, the manner in which the business manages its XRP reserves is a topic that is constantly under scrutiny. Additionally, Ripple intends to gradually unlock these tokens until the year 2027, relocking part of the XRP that has been distributed on a constant basis. This demonstrates the company's careful and strategic approach to reserve management, market responses and projections for the future, especially in light of a significant withdrawal of XRP tokens from the Binance exchange. The cryptocurrency community is keeping a careful eye on the movements of XRP. This transaction, which involved the transfer of XRP worth $86 million to a new wallet, has caused doubts to be raised over the motivations behind the move. This could be an indication that a significant investor is moving towards self-custody or that they are moving their holdings to another exchange. Following a top price of $0.69 cents earlier in December, the price of XRP has been hanging around $0.623 cents since then. And this new development comes during a time of price stagnation for the cryptocurrency. Uh, speculation is being circulated among market analysts over the possible consequences that could result from Ripple selling off its remaining XR holdings. A move of this nature could have an effect on the price of the cryptocurrency, which would add an additional degree of uncertainty for investors and holders. Recent events that have involved XRP reserves serve as a timely reminder of the complex nature of token management and the impact that it has on the cryptocurrency market. The exchange-traded fund HL is anticipated to be the first XRP spot on Asian soil. This anticipation stems from a recent significant development that a major US retailer plans to adopt cryptocurrencies in 2024 as predicted by Ripple's vice president of global policy. Additionally, the possibility of burning the 39 billion XRP in Ripple's escrow wallet will be investigated. Last but not least, Ripple Singapore may be able to purchase the massive 1 million worth of FTX assets as per a recent court filing by well-known XRP supporters, the founder of Dyer Capital. The XRP market recently experienced movement that would lead many bullish investors to feel disheartened. This movement is a classic example of a bull trap. After breaking past the local trend line barrier, the price on the XRP UD chart displayed a bullish signal that was deceiving, which caused a stir among traders who were anticipating an upward trend that would be sustained. The formation of a bull trap takes place when a price that is falling goes on to break over a strong resistance level, which indicates the beginning of an upward trend. Nevertheless, the price is unable to move, maintain the breakout and falls back below the level of resistance rather than continuing to increase on its upward trajectory. This erroneous signal encourages bullish traders to make purchases with the mistaken belief that the market is turning in a favorable direction. 
When it comes to the short-term price performance of an asset, the consequences of a bull trap are often negative. As the market readjusts and the price continues to fall, traders who bought in during the false breakout are frequently forced to sell at a loss before the market recovers. Because of this selling pressure, the negative movement may become even more pronounced, which may result in a more severe price correction. In the instance of XRP, the price's difficulty to maintain its position above the trend line may have been interpreted as a positive signal, but it swiftly morphed into a classic example of a bull trap scenario. This occurrence has the potential to bring about a change in market mood from bullish to negative as the failed breakout brings about a decrease in investor confidence and may stimulate traders to take a more conservative stance. Furthermore, despite the fact that the relative strength index ROLIS is higher than 50, which indicates that the market is generally moving in a positive direction. This is not enough to negate the bearish implications of the bull trap. When the relative strength index like, is greater than 50, it indicates that there may be some positive emotion on the market. Nevertheless, this might also be interpreted as a sign that the market is overbought and that a correction is gonna be necessary in the framework of a bull trap. It is possible that the presence of a bull trap and an RZI that is higher than 50 on the chart of XRP is an indication that the market is not as robust as it appears to be. It is possible that traders may exercise caution in the short term, waiting for the price to establish a fresh level of support before contemplating reintroduction into the market. According to information that was made public yesterday, MicroStrategy, which is led by CEO Michael Saylor, has made a stunning investment of $615, seven cents million in order to acquire an additional 14,620 Bitcoins in December at an average price of $42,110. Sailor's lofty ambition, which was described by Max Kaiser, a well-known Bitcoin evangelist, is the focal point of this important acquisition. According to Kaiser, who also acts as an advisor to the president of El Salvador, the business is use of a collateral seesaw strategy between stock and debt issuance in conjunction with selective Bitcoin purchases places the company in a position to possibly possess 5% of all Bitcoin that is now in circulation. These figures would be equivalent to a staggering 1.5 million Bitcoin. It is clear that Sailor's adamant about possessing a greater quantity of cryptocurrency than Satoshi. This is my Mistar. I am also a Bitcoin owner. As a shareholder, I am unable to lodge a complaint at this time regardless of whether or not someone considers it to be imprudent. John Detton, a well-known attorney, cryptophile, and legal agent of XRP investors, offered his opinion on Saylor's bold pursuit of the cryptocurrency. Deaton stated that it is clear that MicroStrategy is dedicated to accumulating a greater quantity of Bitcoin than Satoshi could ever hope to. In light of the fact that he is a stakeholder in both MicroStrategy and Bitcoin, the attorney emphasized the confidence he has in Saylor's plan. He specifically mentioned that he does not have any qualms about the reckless approach. Despite the fact that there are conflicting viewpoints on the matter, Satoshi issued a request. In the aim of surpassing Satoshi Nakamoto, Saylor has accomplished a significant micro-strategy whose total Bitcoin holdings have increased to 189,150 BTC valued at astonishing $8.15 billion, is now a competitor to Nakamoto who is believed to be the highest Bitcoin holder with 1.1 million BTC, which is equivalent to $47.03 billion at current pricing. The information that has been provided is not intended to be trading advice. There is no responsibility for any investments that are made based on the information that is provided on this page. Before making any decision about investments, we strongly advise conducting independent research and half consulting with a knowledgeable professional.